Welcome back to the channel where today we'll be making classic shoe pastry and a Bailey's honeycomb and chocolate profiterole. If you are new to the channel and would like to see more videos on cooking and baking then please consider subscribing. Begin with the making of the shoe pastry, place the water and butter into a pan and bring to the boil. When boiling, reduce the heat to a low setting and add the flour and salt, stirring vigorously to combine into a smooth paste and continue to stir until the flour is cooked through. It's vital for the success of the pastry that the flour cooks out completely at this stage. A good indication of the flour being fully cooked is that the paste will freely come away from the side walls of the pan. Set the paste aside in a mixing bowl and allow it to cool to room temperature before adding the eggs and beating to a smooth, thick paste. Place the shoe pastry into a piping bag with a star shaped nozzle and pipe out onto a baking sheet in 1 inch discs with a little height to the pipe. You can use a wet finger to push off the sharp peaks of the piped pastry to give a more rounded bake but this is entirely optional. Bake at 160 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes before removing and placing onto a cooling rack. Leave the oven door closed for the entire duration of the bake. The water from the shoe pastry creates steam which makes the pastry rise and opening the door before fully baked could lead to collapse. Take 200 grams of milk chocolate and place into a bain marie to melt. While the chocolate is melting, take the ingredients for the cream filling and place all ingredients into a mixing bowl and whisk well until a soft peak is reached. Place the whipped cream into a piping bag and then place the piping bag into the refrigerator until ready for use. Take some honeycomb, the video for this recipe is in the comments and also by searching through the channel and break into small chunks. You can crush into a fine powder if you wish which I have done on previous bakes and will leave a photo at the end of this video. Have the melted chocolate, honeycomb and whipped cream all ready and begin to fill the profiterole shells with cream before dipping in chocolate and then coating in honeycomb while the chocolate is still melted. Repeat the process until all profiteroles are complete and then transfer to the fridge to allow the chocolate to set. The honeycomb will turn to liquid after a few hours, so do the final assembly as close to the serving time as possible. If you wish to make the profiteroles extra chocolatey, serve with a chocolate sauce. The video is pinned in the comments section below and can also be found by searching through the channel.
Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy making your own profiteroles. If you have enjoyed the video, please like, share and consider subscribing for more tasty baking and cooking on the channel. And also please feel free to send photos of your own creations to my social media channels.